All right, so it says that we are live. So welcome back, everybody. It is March the 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern. 7. Our new time. I thought I had it down. I just asked you, Jamie <laughs> Sound. <laughs> so uh, let's play the Can You See and Hear Us game. And then, uh, of course, let's explain that, yes, we are at our new time, 7 p.m. And I had a little hiccup earlier. Um, don't have a clue what happened. I scheduled it for 7 this morning. It changed to eight, I just seen. So some people may not be jumping on and thought it was eight. I just tried to change it back to seven and it rescheduled it to six. So it's got the time all mixed up. Something's going on today. It's probably because the time change and I I don't know what's going on today. So I apologize. It showed that we were going on an eight, then it moved to six and I finally got it showing seven. Of course, here we are live at seven. So uh, for everybody that's not familiar, we've been doing live streams for quite a few years now Mm -hmm. that I think about it. What, three plus? Yeah. Maybe longer. Oh, yeah. And I'm some sure. reason along the way, we got to where every time we spring forward, well, we move our time to seven because that gives more people time to do stuff in the afternoons because there's more light out and then catch the live stream. It seems to work out a whole lot better. Oh, yeah. And then we fall back in the winter to 5 p.m. Um, when fall back happens. Yeah. And that's because most people, well, it's dark at 545 and they're already getting kids ready for bed and school the next day and all that stuff. So. They're trying to go ahead and settle down and like seven to eight just feels really late in the wintertime. So that's why I know it works for a lot better for some people. It doesn't work better for others. We apologize, but it's just kind of what we've done for years. Um, majority of people seem to actually like the 7 p.m. time better. I think it works out better for a lot of people. Well, it works out better for us because now we can actually get more stuff done during the day before we have to jump on it as well. And I know a lot of y'all are the same way. So uh, let me go ahead and recognize Adam. You've been so kind of generous. He literally started buying memberships and doing stuff like, I don't know, Eight That's out, what he does. Eight hours ago, it looks like. So oh, eight hours. Yeah, uh, it's he already started early. He's wow. done. He's done bought memberships for people. He just bought five more memberships. Adam, he's done through a donation awesome. at us. Thank you. Appreciate you so much, Adam. Thank you so much. And for anybody that's new tonight, we do not expect donations. We don't ask for them. We just can't stop these kind and generous people that always want to send us stuff and do stuff and uh, take care of us. So thank y'all so much for that. So let's go on down here. By the way, Adam's right. It sounds like geriatric central in here. No, I couldn't help. I don't, surgery. I'm not cutting on y'all, but for the, <laughs> I've, I've been kind of popping in for the last hour. All I've heard about is broken bones and surgeries. And, and it's the new <laughs> calendar year for insurance. Everybody's jumping on those surgeries. That's right. Go ahead yeah. and get what's the out of pocket maximum taken care yep, of. Exactly. Knock it out. <laughs> they know how to do it right. So I joked there. I said, man, y'all sound like I was 40 years old since I just turned 40 and I feel like I'm already falling apart. My back sore. Yeah, let's try to protect your joints. Especially my back. Yeah. I've always, always fought my back. So uh, my goodness, y'all, y'all, y'all got it down and depressing in the chat room in here. He's joking. <laughs> I'm joking with y'all. <laughs> and and they know. And if they don't know, now you know. All right. Uh, it's all in good fun. All in good fun. So well, we hope y'all recover well from your surgeries. Yes. Do your therapy. Yes. Coming from a therapist here, do your therapy. <laughs> All right, so it is extremely windy here in Florida. And chilly. Yeah, a little chilly, too. Yeah. We had the cold front come through yesterday, I guess what it was, dumped a tremendous... Of a to my system today. Well, I'm enjoying it, because it was like 80 <laughs> last week, and there's pollen like we've never seen. I've never it seen is, this much pollen. It's already on the countertop, and I just washed everything down about 30, or about an hour ago. It is just disgusting. unreal. It's, These pine trees must be putting it out, and what was it, probably about a month ago... We had a really bad pollen pollen bloom so yeah. that fast three times, and I went outside. The wind was blowing. It was just puffs like you've seen on TV, like when the helicopters fly over the trees, just puffs of yellow pollen everywhere. And I can just imagine it's been like that today. Yeah, had we'd been watching it, you know. This is the longest stretch of pollen I've ever seen. It yeah. started about two months ago, and then just really ramped up about a month ago, and it's just nonstop. My allergies can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's got hay fever and all this other stuff going on. So it's disgusting, but really windy after this rain. So we apologize if you hear any wind noise. I've got curtains and stuff down and, and you're going to keep seeing me fiddle with the camera because I keep getting scared. It's going to blow over. We for sure don't want that to happen. But I am, I am enjoying this cool snap because it's been kind of warm the last couple of weeks. And I was like, oh, man, am I really wanting spring to get here? Things are blooming. The yeah. grass is turning to green. It's pretty. But at the same time, well, if you're working out in it, it's definitely yeah. nice. Well, it's going to be cooler. So yeah, I was building a shed yeah, this past shed week. Was- it was 80 degrees. I was like, oh man, but then it's going to be in the low forties in the morning, forties the next morning. So some good weather. I'm actually going to take a couple of days, take advantage of this cool weather and go do a little more firewood, pull some more trees out and some stuff that I needed to get, run my chainsaw, 
maybe split a little wood. We need to get that done before uh, I lose all my cool weather. And we're actually going to cut grass. Yeah. Too. So this week also, you can, I've got the camera washed out so you can see our faces, but it's greening up rapidly behind us. So we're going to be servicing the tractors this week. We're going to be servicing our new mower, getting the breaking oil out of that. And yeah, we, if we officially start mowing this week, I think this is about the earliest I can remember starting to mow in forever. I too. would agree. Something's yeah. really weird going on. Yeah. I don't know why we're getting all this. Well, don't uh, get too excited. You know, we always get that frost by Easter. So, and I just went to the store. About planning. I know. I just went to the store and load. I went crazy, loaded up on seeds and all kinds of stuff for the garden. And I'm tempted to go ahead and plant because, uh, man, it's, it's tempting with all these 80 degree days. But I, I know it's so early. We're going to get another frost. We will. And if I plant, always it's going to kill happens. it. happens. Well, it doesn't always happen. It always happens when I plant early. So, that's just the way it goes. All right, let's scroll on down here. So Mr. and Miss Hammer wants to know what's for dinner. I'll let you talk. All right. So we had a few more heads of cabbage in the garden. I wish I had corned beef. I seen Miss Leah's uh -huh. corned beef tonight. I seen that too. Yeah, which we cooked one a couple of weeks ago and it was delicious. So um, we had three more heads of cabbage in the garden. So I'm going to do like a cabbage stir fry with pork steak tonight. I can't show y'all how to cook corned beef and cabbage on the Blackstone, but no, no. <laughs> that's one of my favorite meals by far. So we're going to do a stir fry. And then the other two heads of cabbage we have left, we're going to make some slaw and do some fish this week, probably. I think so. Yeah. I've been craving some fish. And that'll be it for our um, cabbage. And then yeah. we've got to plant something else in its place. So mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the, the garden, even though well, I don't think we're going to go big this year because just we've room wise. So much left over from. Well, we've loaded up on meat too. That too. We've bought a lot of meat and stored meat and taken advantage of really good deals and opportunities that came our way. Uh, so we're all about that. But uh, our plan is we're just going to eat everything fresh out yeah, of the garden right. and probably give. Well, until we get burnt out on it. <laughs> yeah, right. When I'm picking five gallon buckets a day of squash and zucchini, we're not yeah. eating fresh out of the garden. <laughs> <laughs> we'll eat it a couple times a week fresh and then we'll probably give a lot of it away. Yeah. I plan on, um, well, we plan on, I'm not going to say I, because <laughs> it'll be like, you're doing it. Um, we're going to pickle green beans this year, I think, uh, and some okra. Yeah, the green beans, my back's least favorite vegetable. <laughs> because I have I to stay bent over constantly picking them it. things. So we're going to plant oh, the green beans in the, the raised garden, bed. Yeah. Um, you want to go ahead and hand me that stuff right there? Yeah, and give an update on the rabbits. I'm oh, yeah, the rabbits. Y'all want to know about the rabbits? So every day this past week up until Friday, I went out there and checked them. They were healthy, doing great. We got to pull that camera, by the way. Oh, yeah. And um, they were still in their little spot where they originally were. The mama was coming and feeding them. So I think it was just time for them to leave because they're gone now. So yeah. that or <laughs> I think it was just time for them to leave. OK, ho yeah. hopefully they didn't turn into <laughs> they were big enough. Snap. Their eyes were open. <laughs> and then. I think it was Thursday I went out there. One of them had left the nest and was just kind of hopping around out there. So I think it was time for them to move on. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll pull that footage and get in the next garden video. I guess video. the footage will tell us. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll show all the footage we can in the next garden video. Hopefully there's nothing bad right. on there. And our, our babies, our, our babies, the baby rabbits are out doing good. I mean, I hunt rabbits. Yeah. I ain't going to sit there and talk like they're babies. Um, and something didn't pick them off a bit early, if you know what I mean. So speaking of the garden. I don't know if Mikey is on. Here, let me unwrap that. Yeah, first. do that. Good. Hand so Mikey has been at it again. Our our second, third, or fourth Santa. I mean, we got so many Santas. <laughs> so he's been on a Fisker spree with us here lately. He has sent me so many Fisker he's products. Fisker Delta. sponsor. He is our Fisker sponsor, apparently. Well, he's just sent us uh, some more tools that I didn't have. And these are supposedly for me, so yes, he's going to have to teach me how to use that's that right. thing. <laughs> so it's this is more for hard stuff, but it's got the pick and kind of the curved cutter on the other end. I actually use these for cutting roots on plants and all. So he sent this in to Tiffany here. So we got us a new Fisker's product. He also sent her a very thoughtful gift right here. There just throw it. A little garden basket. This thing is neat. It is pretty neat. It is a garden basket with like a strainer so you can rinse all your vegetables. Cool. This will fit perfectly across the outdoor sink too. Oh, yeah. It's got a spot so, to sit over a sink yeah. right here. So this will be really nice. We can't have enough of these. We already have several baskets from other viewers. Yep. So you cannot get enough of these, but I'm excited about this one. It's pretty so, neat. Thank you very much, Mikey. Rinse, um, vegetables. Yeah, that was that was very Here, thoughtful. And he's already warned me that there's, there's more stuff coming. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. So we've had a we had a viewer, Mr. Thomas, custom build us some garden baskets, which are awesome. And then Mikey's we'll hooked us up. All. Yeah, we'll Mikey's use. hooked us up with a smaller one. And then Mr. Mr. Thomas is gigantic. So when we start really producing, uh, we've got a couple plus we both can go out there and pick right. now with multiple garden baskets. So thank you very much. So uh, bat houses, yep, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Nope, didn't put them up this week. It was all I could do to get the shed done this week, y'all. Yeah, You've noticed. Project. Oh, that was a big project. And the rain, it rained three times this past week. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, what, well, Wednesday and last Saturday, Sunday, whenever the heck it was, I was trying to start on it. So, man, my project, my building and work time got really messed up this week. Y'all notice I skipped two videos, something I never try to do. And that's going to be the case as we continue to work on big projects. This week, we're going to catch I'm up, though. I'm going to pull it up. He's that, freezing. Is he? <laughs> yeah, this week, on. we're going to get back to kind of our normal, everyday stuff. we got to take care of the property, get a little firewood and all done. And then next week, we jump back on the, the privacy fence and the big project out there and keep kind of steamrolling that. So, nope, did not work on the bad houses this week. Yes, I've got to make that happen. So, Dino wants to know another update on the uh, the chickens. So, I'll let you talk again. Oh, yeah, the Because I chickens. am way behind. So, I cleaned out their coop this week. And I figured, why not just see what they're going to do this week? Put the rooster in with all the hens. And he was aggressive towards the female again to the point where I mean, she just like stuck her head down in the ground and just stayed there and he just beat her up. So I just, my heart couldn't take it. So he is back in rooster jail and he's going to stay there. Rooster jail. <laughs> yeah. Apparently we built a jail cell down there. Yeah. It's supposed to be a little brooder. And it's pen. plenty of room for him. He's fine. I mean, he might not be the happiest because his girls aren't with him. <laughs> well, he gets to look at him right through the wire. I just, it hurt my feelings that he was doing that to her. And it was so sad. I went in there and I picked her up. She just stayed there after he was like beating her up or whatever, pecking her and everything. And she just stayed there and she let me pick her up and I held her, petted her. She, and then I put her down and she followed me all around the coop. It was really sad. I was yeah, like wanting her to pick up and pet yeah, her. So I picked her up a couple of times and which she's been the most friendliest one that yeah, we've had from the get go. Been. She always eats out of my hand. Um, but she, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't see it happen anymore. So he's back in there until we decide. Well, we're going to just leave it that way. Honestly, I hate taking that much well, room away from get the rid coop. of him or we may have to get rid of him. And yeah, people are always giving away roosters. So it's not like we can't go get another rooster. The problem is we're going to wind up getting somebody's problem. Like our past roosters that want to spur you every time you go in there. The one thing I like about this rooster is he doesn't bother you. He doesn't spur you. He doesn't attack you. He's just singling out one chicken so it's been the most mellow one we've had so far yeah and i don't tolerate no chicken spurring me when i go in there that's why we don't have certain chickens anymore yeah i don't and i don't, don't want to play I mean, that game if i knew i could give her away to a good home and she was i would do that but I hate to give away my my egg layer i'd rather get yeah i'd rather try to figure the rooster situation out i don't know i don't know we're tossing it around i don't right, know what to do right now they're in jail if or anybody one's in has jail. any suggestions <laughs> please let me know I guess we could. Uh, well, the problem is it ain't just pecking. He's doing some little spurring, too. Oh, so he's I know spurring her. Yes. Yeah. Some people are saying, you know, cut, yeah. file the beak, cut the spurs. Well, that still doesn't stop the aggression. The instant I let them out, she automatically is real skittish around him. And from what I read online, if anybody shows weakness or anything, that's just part of the cycle. But um, she automatically just shows fear and, you know, she's real skittish. So he immediately you know, tries to spur her and peck her. So, we'll yeah. get it figured out. Y'all, I am way behind because I'm just going through cherry picking some comments because if we get so many, I apologize just the way these live streams work. Some people are saying they're seeing some lag. Uh -uh. I don't know. Some people are saying I they're really good. I haven't really paying attention to my phone, yep. so I don't well, really know. Wi-Fi signal strength's good. Speed tests look good. So you may want to log out, log back in. Could be on your end. Could be us. The good news is we now have fiber hanging on our pole outside, but we still have to wait for the crew, the connection crew to come through. But they've done running down the highway. They've done running into our property, and I'm literally looking at the wires right out here. So we're eventually going to get two gig uh -oh. fiber. Uh-oh. YouTube isn't responding. Well, that could be your app. It just popped out of nowhere. You're good. <clears throat> okay. Well, scroll on down and read everybody's touch, comments. I didn't even touch my phone and that happened. Well, that hopefully, bit. hopefully no gremlins tonight. There hasn't tonight. been any comments in a while, so. Uh, well, you may need to get out and come uh, back I'll in. Get out. 
Let me go down and see if I can see some comments. All right, everybody's saying seems fine, good for them here. So anyways, yes, we will be getting fiber and we can really speed some things up. But uh, thus far, I mean, the shader has been working great for what, a year and a half now? So it could be something on y'all's end. You look like you got an app crash issue. I know, I probably haven't updated it in a oh, while. Oh yeah, I need to update my app. I haven't done it in a while either. How about that? Yeah, my app's not even opening, so. Northwest Florida boy says he's allergic to cabbage. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, wow. Man. Interesting. That is interesting. I'm allergic to shrimp and lobster, and I love shrimp. I know. <laughs> I used to better eat them until my mid-20s, then I just developed an allergy out of the blue. All right, so we didn't answer the chicken questions, the rabbit questions, uh, the, what are y'all eating tonight? So let's keep scrolling on down and find something else. Yes, James, zucchini bread. Everybody tells me we every year, make it this year we are going to make yes. it this year. I should have more time this year, so we should. I'll be able to make it. And yep. I think Chris was the one that was always asking me about zucchini bread, too. We definitely need to try it this year because we have no problem growing zucchini oh, here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We can grow zucchini and squash like nobody's business. Okay. All right, I, I'm back up and running. Cool. Y'all, I'm so <laughs> far behind. David, thank you so much. He says, half a fence post donation. <laughs> Isn't that the truth thank nowadays of what things cost? <laughs> David, thank you so much. You're so, so different. kind and generous. We truly do appreciate you. Oh, yeah. So, Robert's thanking everybody for all the monthly memberships. Yes, thank you, Adam. And, and Cash, who's not, I don't think he can make it tonight. He had some major car problems uh -oh. today. Major car problems. So, he's running around trying to get his wife's vehicle up and running. Um, cash, there's so many people that's always donating memberships out, but Adam been going wild and crazy on that. So uh, yeah, Robert, you're absolutely welcome. I'm, it was most likely from Adam, who knows, who's been hooking you up there. And uh, we'll continue to do some sneak peeks and a few other little maybe short clips and other things on the membership as well. But like we tell everybody every week, we're not asking for any payment or anything like that. That's people that's just supporting us. We're going to keep our content free uh, as far as the, you know, the videos go and thank everybody that, that does do the memberships. And like I said, we'll continue to give some little sneak peeks and we may do some little fun things for uh, memberships here as well. We've been discussing some other stuff in the future. So Adam, thank you so very much for another donation. YouTube is going to get my foot. I don't know what that means, Adam. <laughs> YouTube is going to get my foot. No you're, telling. You're going to have to explain what the heck that means, Adam. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. So any word on Miss Sheila? I have not No, heard. I believe Crystal stays in touch with her. Um, and Crystal hasn't been on either lately. I haven't yeah. seen her on tonight either. I don't believe Yeah, don't Y'all don't forget Crystal's been yeah. dealing with her, her father got COVID and then got very ill because of it. Um, And she's been doing a lot to kind of support and take care of him. So y'all keep her in mind as well. <clears throat> So y'all got all the rain yesterday. We didn't get enough to rinse the pollen off the cars. <sighs> well, if it makes you feel any better, we got a ton of rain yesterday in a short the period pollen. of time and the pollen's back today. <laughs> so it wouldn't have mattered. But uh, I wish we could have sent it to you because I don't like getting, like we got almost three inches in less than an hour yesterday and it, wild. it destroyed the road. It washed the road all the way back out the back side of the property here. That's probably about as fast as I've seen water flow down the road in a long time, if ever. So now I got to hook the box plate up, go back and drag the road smooth again. Uh, it's a constant battle until we finally rock the road or put some asphalt melons or something like that down. Everybody's saying we should do rooster barbecue. That could be going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> We've did it before. Yeah, the rooster wasn't very appetizing that we've ate before, but uh, yeah, we'd no, it really do it a different way. No, it really it wasn't. Uh, we'll we'll put it in a uh, pressure cooker, yeah. <laughs> make it fall apart, and then chicken and rice Maybe or something. Maybe smoke it or something. I don't. No, know. that makes it too tough. I feel yeah. like so. Uh, Robert asked, you know, being you guys don't free range the chickens. There's no need to have a rooster. The only reason there is. He does kind of keep a little bit of order in there, which the hens do fine. But should we want to hatch out any more babies, you need a rooster. And I kind of like having that ability. It's just a security feeling to know that it you is. have a rooster and you, you know, yep. can do that in any instant. So, yeah. so that's yeah. the main reason why we're keeping. Uh, we are going to build a chicker, chicker. A chicken tractor, say that three times fast, <laughs> this year and uh, kind of start letting them out. So I, I want the rooster in there in case something comes up and we're not paying attention. But uh, everybody always asks, why don't we free range? We just literally can't. We have the biggest hawks you've ever seen, multiple ones, huge owls, foxes, coyotes, and to top it all off, a bald eagle pair. I've seen somebody the other day on a reel. They had like one of those um, like flying things. Yeah, like, like this. the yeah. used car place thing. Yeah out there and they said that's what they use to keep the uh, predators away from. Their <laughs> i'm not chicken. moving that all around the pasture that's not happening 
All right, let's see here. Oh, excuse me. I'm just burping right in the, y'all, the microphone here. Yeah, everybody's saying cook the rooster, cook the rooster, cook the rooster. <laughs> All right, let's scroll on down past the lag stuff that y'all were discussing there. And uh, let's see here. Just try to remember. I am looking. Okay. We just answered your question there, Robert. So. Yes. Yeah. He asked it again. Yeah. <laughs> so Big Country says they're waiting on Swanee Valley to run the fiber out to their place. I didn't realize Swanee Valley was doing that. That's yeah. who we used to be on. So I hear that it's moving across that way and everybody's cool. getting it. Yep. Cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Good deal. We're waiting on our hookup. That that could still literally be a couple more months. We, If you go about seven, eight miles down the road, you see the little black boxes and people already have fiber. But we have such a big area here. They're just kind of the crews are moving through here, there. Uh, like I said, the cabling's here, but it, it could still be a couple more months before the connection crew comes here and we trench and get the wire over to the house and finally make this thing happen. Oh, I cannot wait. And by the way, we're probably always going to keep cellular because our life is on the internet and if something ever happened to the fiber i gotta have a backup it's it's worth you know paying and having um some sort of backup internet so we don't lose connection and aka lose our job <laughs> so we'll uh we'll always keep that uh adam talking about what adam talks about cabbage gives him <laughs> let's just don't even <laughs> he's got to talk about it every week but believe he? it or not adam homegrown cabbage doesn't as much huh yeah Okay. Versus the store. Interesting. So. Well, that could just be for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Sharon says we can always shred the zucchini, freeze it, and when you're ready to make bread, thaw it out and drain yes. it real well. I thought about that too. That will take a lot of moisture out of it as well. But we'll just, we'll have to come up with ways to cook everything fresh so we don't end up just throwing it out. So yep. we'll, might, we'll do it then. So Adam, thank you <laughs> once again. Just gifted five more memberships. You've been extremely you, generous wow. tonight, Adam. Thank you so much. So Mr. Jimmy asked, when do we expect to start on the fence? I'm assuming you're talking privacy fence. It'll probably be not this coming week because we have to stop, take care of the property. It's time next week. Now I'm going to go ahead and order everything this week for uh, the fence and kind of get all that stuff in, may get it delivered next Monday and then start on that thing. And that's going to be another relatively big project for me. And I'm going to overbuild it like I normally do because I've seen so many privacy fences get blown down in last year's hurricane. I don't feel like going through all that trouble and work and having it just blow right over. And privacy fences catch a ton of wind. So we're probably going to be doing six to six posts and we're not buying the pre-made panels. I'm going to attach it all myself and we're going to do our best to make it not blow away. Speaking of fence, I'm going to bring up something that's going to aggravate Andrew. <laughs> We need to do the whole property fence because uh, you've been getting your visitors back. Yeah, that ain't just a quick, simple job. So, (laughs) yes, our friends, y'all remember a while back that we had a major cow problem that wasn't our cows. They just kept showing up and showing up and showing up. This was last year. It happened like seven or eight times. Very frustrating. Well, eh, we just come home from a little ride on our side by side a couple nights ago. What do you know? There's a bull right here in the yard. Yeah. Wonderful. Here we go again. And my neighbor just had one get in his hay barn and eat up some of his hay about a week and a half ago. So we're like, oh boy. Well, the bull showed back up today. Here we are playing <laughs> playing farmers <laughs> with cows again, and we we don't own cows. Yeah. Uh, the cows are really wanting to be here. They keep trying to come here, and they're coming from you a long ways good away. Green grass. Yeah. And, you know, well, I just noticed. Got- the food plot going out there. I just walked out there to try to put the flag uh, or the, yeah, yeah, the flag back on flagpole. And of course I'm dodging landmines out in the yard. So I just love these, uh, you know, big piles of cow, you know what, in my yard and I don't even own cows. So yeah, eventually fencing the whole property and be nice because we're trying to keep cows out, not in right yeah. now. <laughs> oh goodness. Welcome to the country, I guess. Could be worse. We could be, you know, dealing with People, thieves and yeah. people on that, drugs yeah. and everywhere else. If I got to do with cow, we're good with cows. Yeah, Joe says you're washed out. It makes a lot. The oak tree in the background has no leaves. Yes. <laughs> so here's the problem. I'm not very good at adjusting a camera and I've tried to take some of y'all's adjustments uh, to heart and suggestions. So in order to get you to where you can see our faces, so let me show you. If I turn down the ISO on my camera, 
to where the grass looks good and the tree looks good. Well, look, yeah. you, you can't see us at all. So I have to turn it up and it washes out a bright background. And honestly, it's because where we're sitting. Yeah, if um, we were pointed the other direction, then it would probably work out a lot better. But And, and honestly, we enjoy sitting here. This is the only place we have chairs out here. But if we had I a, want to give you all somewhat of a good view. Yeah, washed yeah. out view. <laughs> if we had a dark background, this wouldn't be a problem at all. Um, What? Something Glenn just said. No telling. No telling. <laughs> so apologize about making the tree. It is wintertime. Let's just pretend there's no leaves on it. And really, there's not many on it, but it's starting to bloom out, I just noticed. All right. Uh, I'm still waiting for Andrew to find a deal on a freeze dryer. Buddy, I'd like to find a deal, too, because all of them that I... What did we I... talk about the other day about freeze drying? What was Oh, the name? eggs. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Perf get powdered eggs then. Right. And then you can rehydrate them for the homemade mayonnaise and stuff. Like we, We've been experimenting with a lot yeah. of homemade stuff here lately. I want a freeze dryer bad. I don't want one $2,500 to $3,500 bad. Yeah, they're um, pretty large, don't they? They are. And guess what? Yeah. The machine's large because of the vacuum pumps and everything else. But mm -hmm. it doesn't. you can't fit with just a few trays in it. So it doesn't mm. dehydrate a tremendous or freeze dry a tremendous amount of food. But they are very, very, very expensive. Now, freeze dried food is awesome. Talk about like the perfect way to preserve something. Then you can just put your apple chips and vegetables and everything else in a bag, vacuum seal it like I do, throw it on the shelf. You're good. Mm. Do whatever you want to do with it. I want one bad, but yeah, those things have got to come down in price. They absolutely do. So Leon says, even being a channel member, YouTube unsubbed me. This has been happening a lot here lately and it's becoming very frustrating. Next time I meet with a, uh, with my YouTube manager, I'm going to bring this topic up. Doesn't mean I'm going to yeah. specifically get a direct answer, but maybe they can look into it. I have seen a ton of big channels reaching out to viewers in videos lately. I need to do that myself. Telling people, check to see on a constant basis. You know that we post videos every week. If you go a week and you didn't see a notification from us, Chances are you got unsubbed. I don't know why this is happening. It's very frustrating. Um, I've had a ton of people tell me that they've been unsubbed, unsubscribed. And then after a while, they're like, whoa, whoa, I've been missing videos. And some people notice, some people don't. Some people just think you're not posting. But I never ask because it sounds like you're begging. Yeah. Check, see if you're subscribed to us. And then the little bell icon right beside the subscribe button, if you'll click on it, turn on all notifications. It'll let you know anytime we do a live stream, anytime we do a community post, or anytime we post a video. And if you're not getting those every so often, well, maybe check. it wouldn't hurt for you to do a video. I think you would word it in a way that would yeah. come across desperate or I just anything think, like that. I'm but... just not going to throw it in every video because it sounds like you're no, begging for yeah. subs. All I'm trying to do is tell the people that want to watch yeah. is you will get unsubscribed sometimes. I've been unsubscribed from a lot of channels that I follow. And then after a while, you just kind of forget about it. I guess... I guess if you really like our content, you'll go hunt us <laughs> down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm going to get the Blackstone going. Oh, my goodness. Just win, y'all. <laughs> no, it needs to lay. Let me bump this camera up. It's probably going to blow your flame out, which y'all can't tell. But it is, it's really, really windy. 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 My foot. Oh, Adam says it's my foot in the back end donation. Oh, I got you. You need a good kick in the rear. Is that what it is for some of the stuff that you're saying? All right, so thank you very much, Adam. My goodness, you're being so kind of generous tonight. Let's see what else uh, we got here. Glenn says, my black truck looks like a bumblebee from the pollen. That's an interesting way to, of putting it, but <laughs> that sounds kind of right. Here's what's crazy, y'all. My shop. Occasionally, I'll leave the shop door open, just one of them. I went in, my welding table, which is way back in the shop today, green. There is pollen everywhere in my shop, and I, I, I don't even know how the heck it got there. There's just pollen on everything, y'all. Like, literally, since I've been sitting here talking to y'all, she cleaned the countertop before we started the live, and I can already see it everywhere. So it's just, yeah. we're, we're eating it, we're breathing it. Like, I don't know how we're not more yep, plugged we'll up than cabbage we Cabbage with a side of pollen. Yeah, I know. Eating, eating pollen with our food tonight. All right, let's scroll on down and see what we got going on here. Uh-oh. Well, it says, I'm learning my house was not designed for deluges this year, so you must have had some leaks. Oh, sorry. That that just sucks. I will say, you remember my shop got flooded a while back? We got almost five inches of rain in one hour a while back. Like, we just been getting crazy heavy rains um, that in less than an hour. Like, that's just insane. You're not supposed to get that kind of rain. Flooded my shop out. Y'all remember I dug the swell out behind it, rock to flow around, and I put up a gutter. Well, yesterday was a good test. Our yard was just flooded so quick, it would have got my shop again, but I do not see any flooding out there. 
So the investment in the gutter and digging that swell out seems to be working. I was very nervous about that. So zucchini dipped in cornmeal and flour sliced like chips. Oh, deep fried. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I, used to do, hmm. I used to do that all the time as a kid. So we would flour them, um, but we did it with uh, squash, yellow squash. And man. We'll have to try the cornmeal. That gives it good. some crisp. Right? Well, it's all about the frying. We really don't fry <laughs> much. But we're, we're, actually, we just ordered in. Where is our peanut oil? It's in the pantry. Awesome. Yeah, it came We just in. ordered in some peanut oil. We're going to do a little bit of frying and trying to use a healthier oil. I think peanut oil is healthier. I'm staying away from canola and vegetable oils because you just hear about how, how horrible those are. So, like, I'm craving some fried fish or maybe some fried deer meat every now and then. Or I love fried squash. That would be so good. So, occasionally, we'll do that. We realistically only fry a few times a year. But uh, we may add it a little more if we'll do healthier oil. I, again, I, I think peanut oil is healthier. I don't know. Y'all are probably going to be like, no, the heck it isn't. <laughs> All right, let me move this camera, y'all. Are you ready for me to? Or? You can. I'm, I, I still got to clean the grill. So we'll uh, bump up the brightness here since I've got to learn all this again since we're on a new time. Zoom this out. I can't put the camera up as high today because I'm nervous about it blowing over with all the wind, y'all. So you're going to get a little bit of a different view today. It probably isn't going to look quite as good, but I can't have this camera blowing off the counter. So we're keeping it down low. Okay. All right, let's catch another question. I'm reading, I'm reading. Y'all bear with me. <laughs> Glenn says he got unsubscribed from his own channel. What? How about that? And Glenn, I apologize. I didn't realize you had a, like, you got a mate, you got a channel? Like, are you doing constant posting on there? Or is it just hobby and a little bit? I apologize for not checking it out. We get so many people. A lot of people don't technically have channels. They just have a channel name. So uh, I can't go check out everybody's stuff there. But curious what you put on there. Being it says Salty Life, <laughs> I'm assuming it's beach stuff, fishing stuff, something like that. So there's Miss Sheila jumping on. She's good. Everybody's been asking about you. I don't yeah, know if you're still here. Yeah, she gave a little update real yeah. quick. Yeah. She said, just want to let you know I'm doing all right. Don't want to get anybody worried or fretting about it. But I sure do think a lot of y'all take care. Well, Miss Sheila, I don't know. On if, our minds, Ms. Yeah, Sheila. I don't know if you. She said she was going to jump on and jump off. I don't know if you're still here, but everybody's been asking about you. Thank you so much for a uh, and a little update there. Chris wants to know about the podcast. Yep, we should have caught that with the bat houses. No podcast. <laughs> Tiffany decided to bail on me today. We, we could have done one. Oh, oh, are you going to blame it on me? Yeah, <laughs> for not I mean, being sounds here. good. Sounds good. <laughs> Tiffany decided to haul tail and, and leave me here today and we, we can yes. <laughs> even though i did a ton of work today <laughs> all right let's catch another comment here um, so tripping says part of that rural broadband initiative is uh requires providers to connect so many customers per month and to complete the build out hopefully it's a lot of customers i will say i feel like those guys have been knocking it out i think the wire has been going up really really quick um I, I think they're doing an excellent job. I really do. <laughs> oh, I see what you was laughing at probably a minute ago with Glenn about yeah. uh, making something disappear. <laughs> Boy, Glenn, trust me. I understand. I understand. If only we had room. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know who's watching. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm reading all y'all's questions about that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. So... Matt Racks and Times Mav says, second question. Oops, I missed your first one. How about a light behind the camera? We've tried that. It does kind of work, but then it starts really washing your face out. Um, we've we've played around with all kinds of stuff. We I've actually got a bright LED light back there, and, and it does help. But then you start looking glossy and kind of weird. It's it's just we're not in a really good spot out here. We like we really should be doing this inside and all, but we love being outside. And this is what we want to do. All right, let's see here. Do not get a harvest right, says Robert. They're a horrible company. They have no infrastructure to repair their stuff. Thank you for letting me know, Robert. They are the only ones that I've actually even heard of. We've seen one. For what? What are we talking about? The freeze dryer. Where uh, did we see one at the other day? Was it like, oh, I think Tractor Supplies carry those now. That's where I seen one out today. I was shocked because it was like, 
23, $2,400 for a small model. And I was like, tractor supply selling these things. And I'm pretty sure it was a harvest right. Now with that said, um, I don't know other companies. So, so let me know, but thanks for the feedback. Cause if we do get one, we want to make sure we get a good one. And do you have one? What, what kind of issues did you have? I'd be curious to hear that. Like, is it a vacuum pump issue, something major, or something uh, relatively simple, but you just can't get a part? I'd be curious to know that because we eventually will be looking for a freeze dryer. Oh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. What am I smelling? Is it just the pork or is it, it smells like a seasoning or something? Everything. Well, probably just the season on the Blackstone. Yeah, that Blackstone is yeah. seasoned quite well. All right. So Chad says he just checked. He was unsubscribed. What? Yeah. Okay, so we need to probably do like a short video or something. Yeah, I, I've had several people reach out to me the last week. I don't know what's going on with this unsubscribe stuff, y'all. It's uh, it's very aggravating. So, Mr. Gray, good to see you, sir. Thank you so very yes, much. Mr. Gray. He says, new time, and I'm still coming in late. Don't oh. let it happen again. <laughs> he says, when that fence going to happen, here's to the fence fund. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. It needs to happen because you missed the story earlier. We have been, <laughs> we, we got cows. We just aren't ready for cows. <laughs> We, we've got a neighbor's cows. We had a big problem last year with them showing up from the property. Well, cows started showing up here again a couple of nights ago. So now we need to put up a fence to keep cows out and then get our own cows and then put up more fence to keep cows in. That I think is it's really definitely one of the projects we are really having to save for because it is going to be huge a fortune. Project. It's a huge project. Yeah. I priced it out about a year and a half ago um, and extremely expensive. I've been waiting for fence and steel to come down. Wood has been, which uh not going to use much wood. I'm, luckily, I got a hookup for the big telephone poles for the corner post. That'll really help out a lot with costs. But the fencing, the gates, everything is still just crazy, crazy high. So Sherrod says zucchini is good raw with some chip dip or ranch dressing. I don't know if I've had it raw. Actually, yeah, I've yeah. tasted it raw. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's fine. I'm, we eat so many other vegetables raw. I wouldn't mind that at all. And I love vegetables. Like, I would put raw zucchini on salads or anything else. So I'd be fine with that. Fried dill pickle chips, says Anna. Oh, so we went when we went out yesterday. We had to go run a bunch mm -hmm. of errands, and we went by Texas Roadhouse, and I was so close to getting fried dill pickles. <laughs> oh, I love fried dill pickles. We've made dill pickle chips with Parmesan cheese and the slice of pickle. That was really yeah, good. It was. Oh, and our friend yeah. that made the uh, dill pickle dip recently. Oh, that is really good. Mm, Y'all. She got yeah. the recipe from Meat Church. I don't know if you watch that guy on Instagram. I watch him. He does a lot of cooking recipes. Oh, that recipes. dip was so good. That dip was amazing. We got to make that I've been that dreaming again. about it. Yeah, cut up dill pickles in it, and it had what, like breadcrumbs or something for a um, crunch? Yeah, it had the uh, pinko breadcrumbs. Yeah, yep. and then your typical just kind of dip. I don't know. It sounds weird, but it was so good. We got to make that again. Yep. All right. So, Mr. Miss Hammer says, remember the one million subs promise. I ain't got to <laughs> remember. Mr. Jimmy said, how much fun has went towards the billboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't have to remember. Y'all will 100% remind me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Adam says, no, YouTube is getting my foot in there, you know what, uh, from you. Okay. Yeah, I guess you are giving it to them, aren't you there? <laughs> with the, you're socking it to them with the donations and memberships. Thank you so much, Adam. Golly, man. Dude. Your credit card company is going to be calling you. You might better chill tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Adam. My goodness. Ah, oh, you're so nice. So Anna says, peanut oil is just only better for higher temperatures. It's not healthier than like vegetable oils, corn and canola, because I've just heard such horrible stuff about that. I was trying to trick myself and say peanut oil would be a little healthier than, than the vegetable oils, even though I guess it's still kind of a vegetable. With onion cheese or cream cheese, so stuffed, wrapped, in bacon and smoked on the pellet grill. Ooh. It's kind of like jalapeno popper, yeah, but zucchini it's a zucchini popper, popper or something Ooh. like that. Well, that sounds really anything good. Anything cream cheese is pretty good. And that onion cream cheese actually sounds really good, too. We actually like to slice the zucchini kind of thick but long mm -hmm. and um, Olive season oil. it up. Yep. Put it on the grill like that. Oh, it's really good. I love grilled squash and zucchini. I think it's excellent. So let's see here. Mr. Gray says, hello, Kelly's Country Life family. Sorry, I've been off the air for a while. Good to be with you. Very good to have you back, sir. Glad you're back. We hope you're doing okay. Yes, we do hope you're doing okay. So Paul says, how about some likes? There's only 35. Well, it looks like you got it shot up to 95 there. Paul, way to go. All ah, 
Okay, y'all are giving me some good information. I'm getting all, uh, <laughs> what's the word? Uh, educated, all educated. <laughs> Guy, couldn't think straight right here. I need to bump this camera up just a little, y'all. It's getting dark now. I got to play this game. Turn it up, turn it down. All right, let's roll with that. Maybe that'll last. So this live stream's too late for Miss Rudmilla, but she should appreciate this. <laughs> We're pretty much just eating cabbage tonight, yeah. <laughs> which is fine with me. I love it. We uh, are doing potatoes. Oh. I am putting potatoes in there, too. Well, the few's okay. <laughs> it's a vegetable. It's just not a very good vegetable. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Joe. That's the way you got to do fried food. You got to eat it straight out of the grease. Without a doubt. So, Ricardo says, I've been wondering if North Florida is similar uh, weather like Southern California. I really don't know. Never been to Southern California. I, I feel like we probably well, have a lot more humidity and bugs. <laughs> maybe Miss Lee or... Well, well no, Miss Lee's can... not in Southern well, California. She might know, though. Yeah, she she may. So, uh, yeah, hard to say. Um, I don't know. We, we get triple digits here. We always have high humidity. It's crazy. And then we get frost and below freezing quite a few days um, in the wintertime. So I don't know if that compares to Southern California or not. I kind of wonder if we might have a, a few more extremes. Now, I know Northern California, Western California, completely different. They got a mountainous region. They get snow. We don't. So. Jeff says, love your videos. It's nice to have the tools that you do. Nice house and grounds. Thank you very much, Jeff. Spent literally decades collecting those tools and teaching myself skills and learning. And uh, now those tools literally pay for themselves every time I use them on jobs. That's why I always try to encourage people. If uh, don't blow money on things you don't need, buy you some tools, learn a skill. You'll feel better at the end of the day that you've learned something. You'll feel productive. And oftentimes with as expensive as labor is now, Buying a couple tools to do a job, even if you break even, even if the tools cost what the labor would have, perfect. Tools are now free. The next job you do, they're paying you back dividends, and then the next job, and the next job. And if you buy relatively quality tools, they should last many, many, many jobs. Um, a lot of people just don't see it that way, but that's honestly how it works out. Let's see what else we got going on here. Joe says, check Vivor for a freeze dryer. Yeah, we haven't had the <laughs> Vivor zing in a while. Yeah. I don't think they have freeze dryers, but let me not say that because they literally have about 20,000 items on their website. That would be hilarious if they do have one. I will ask them, hey, can I test one of those things out? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Danny says we should swap with the camera. It's the sky calls a problem. We Yeah, we definitely know that. Problem is... We can't cook from over there, and there's no chairs over there on that side. Yeah. The trees in the We've background. We've thought about it all. There, that would 100% solve the problem, but then we couldn't sit here and cook and talk to you and do stuff like this. Um, We just don't have this area set up well for recording, but it's set up well for us to just enjoy, you know. Try a circular polarizer. It's like sunglasses for your camera. I need to write that down. Yo, uh -huh. Hang on. Well, I can't screenshot. I could. I couldn't go over there and screenshot it. I'll just text you circular polarizer and I'll probably get a response from you in a little while going, what? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> so, polarizer for camera. All right, Ricardo, I'll look into it. There's one that'll go on my lens here and maybe help us out. So Shane, thank you so very much. My goodness, y'all, y'all being so kind tonight. He says for heavy metal dillo treats i know exactly what you mean there buddy <laughs> and speaking of that oh yeah they're about another one last night they are trying to dig up my oak tree over here and i'm yeah not happy. tiffany is very upset our our oak tree that we just trimmed up our beautiful oaks that we planted years ago we just looked under one today huge massive dugout hole all underneath the center of it and roots from an armadillo and i just found another hole in the mm -hmm. pasture while walking this morning um and our yards dug all up. They're digging back under the barn again. They have just showed back up in force again in the last few nights. The cows and the armadillos. Well, the armad <laughs> armadillos have been vanishing. We got that, some pests around here. That don't thermal we? is no joke, y'all. I can't <laughs> thank y'all enough again for uh, helping us get into that thermal a while back. All right. So I see y'all talking about ham radios and all that stuff. I've been talking uh, with Adam about some of that stuff. What's it? The... Uh, 
CMRS, I can't remember, type radios. Honestly, where I'm going to start, I need to get a, just an old school CB because that's what everybody runs around here. And I want to get one in our new side by side. So if we're ever stuck in the woods or if we need to help people out with hurricanes like we had last year, I think a lot of people around here still communicate on CB. Then I want to move into more long range radios and I got to look at license and everything else. So that's definitely going to be something we'll include on the channel. Um, and it is on our mind. It absolutely is. So Sharon says, check out Cog Hill Farm. They freeze dry a lot of stuff. I think I have seen some of yes. their freeze dried mm -hmm. videos. Yep. And there was one other guy a while back. I think his, he's got barbecue in the name of his channel. One of y'all recommended him to me. I was watching him freeze dry eggs and some other stuff. That looked really cool. Like I'm really interested in the freeze drying the eggs, especially since we get more than we can I eat. the lady I was watching, but <laughs> she was making a joke out of her video and I was probably about, 10 minutes into it, but she was trying to explain how you freeze dry water. And I was like, what? I gotta see this. And I mean, she was so serious. She had everybody going. I was the whole like, point of freeze drying is removing the moisture. I was like, I guess I don't understand the process. Of no, this, so you, you don't. Yeah, you don't. I fell for it. All right. So Bren Brandon, hope I'm pronouncing your uh, name right. It said stud steals. Ha ha. Locally. I was also carrying a harvest right. You're exactly right. I went to Stud Steels over in Madison a while back, and I remember saying they had a harvest right there. Now, you may be talking to Stud Steel in Perry or some of the other places, but um, yeah, and the price you've seen, that's just kind of the standard price, I think, for their entry level or mid model. They have multiple uh, sizes. All right, it's all done. I'm going to plate it up for y'all and show you. So Kevin says, I have a Stay Fresh. All right, cool. Another name. I wasn't familiar with them. Pricey, but useful. No issues with it. Thank you for letting us know. All right, Robert said it was computer control board leaks, issues he had with his in the uh, vacuum chamber. Oh, man. Yeah, that is quite a few issues. So a long time ago, I found a recipe for, what was it, sausage? and Yeah, it was sausage, cabbage, and potatoes. And in the recipe, it called for a, must, a mustard dressing that you put on top of it. And it's um, red wine, vinaigrette, and sugar and mustard, and it just adds it is so such good, a good flavor. Y'all, I can't to I, any cabbage recipe that we yeah, do. So. I can't tell you how well that works on cabbage. It's just perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna add that to the cabbage here. So, how are the pine trees doing that we planted? You can see them over here in the background doing awesome. Other than we did lose a few with the hurricane, um, it killed several, broke several, but uh, they're doing really, really, really well. They are doing good. Okay, uh -huh. here is the final product of our dinner tonight, our uh, cabbage from our garden, mm -hmm. and pork steak, potatoes, and onions. Stir it ain't pie. focusing. I think it's looking at my face. You might have to pull it back some. There we go. I think y'all can see it pretty good. Yeah, they get the point. Yep. All right, so Mr. Robert, thank you so very much for a uh, generous donation there. He says, we all know the shed is a doghouse when you misbehave with <laughs> Tiffany. Uh-uh. My hunting blind is my doghouse. I'll go out there. I already got uh, a heater out there, power. Eventually, I'm going to get an AC in it. So that's my doghouse. <laughs> or I could go out to the uh, storm shelter. It's got AC and all in it and a little bed. <laughs> so thank you very much, Mr. Robert. Truly do appreciate you. Uh, let's see. I see everybody's schooling uh, Ricardo on the difference between Florida and Southern California. I, I think we get more temperature extremes and more humidity for sure. Um, and you're right. We can go from the teens to 110, 115. We've had it. Uh, but the humidity is the killer. If you haven't experienced constant 80 and 90 percent humidity months and months and months out of the year, it's suffocating. I uh, uh, I can't stand it. But obviously we love Florida enough and to our stay here. Bugs. Yes. yes. So have I heard from Mr. Doug? Yes. Um mm -hmm. talked with him on our Patreon yesterday. Uh seems to be doing well. No problems. He is still around and checking out yes. the content and he'll drop some comments on some uh videos every now and then as well. Miss Lee <laughs> Thank you so very much. Miss Lee, thank that you. That is so generous. That is a good project for it to go to. Chicken tractor. Yes. yes, that is going to be one of our future projects. After I get, this is going to be my last big project, the big outdoor cooking area over here, which is going to take a couple months. That'll get me into the heat of spring and into summer. And then I told her I'm done with the gigantic projects for the rest for of while. summer. Yeah. And we're going to jump on smaller projects like that. The fun stuff mm -hmm. bounce all around. Then when we get back to fall and winter when it's, not suffocating with that humidity we're talking about. We'll get back to some of the bigger projects that we have on the list. That gives us a little time to save up as well. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much, Miss Lee. Thank you, Chicken Ms. tractor Lee. is definitely yeah. uh, one of the things that I 
for sure plan to do this year. Adam, thank you. <laughs> okay, says uh, Mav needs some love tonight. I know he he. I didn't catch his first question. I caught a second one. He must have offered or asked a third, fourth, or tenth question like he normally does. <laughs> I've been kind of jumping all around, y'all. There's been so many questions tonight. Now y'all talking said, about the radios. No love from Andrew, LOL. Where's this at? Right here. Oh, that's what Mav said. What did you do? Did you miss his comments? Oh, he, he probably asked about 10 of them, and I, and I think I only <laughs> caught one or two tonight. Sorry, Mav. I know I at least caught one of them. I did not catch the first one, and I'm, I might have missed the third, fourth, or whatever we got going on here. So Mr. Jimmy says, I love uh, my CBs. Got a bunch of it here. Big antennas up for ham. Uh, and CB, been in it for 30 years. Hmm. I, I'm definitely venturing into it. I actually was reading up a little bit on it today. I didn't have much time with all the projects, but uh, occasionally I'll take a break and look in. I, I've got to start with the CB. I've been talking with Adam about that. We used to always run CBs when I was a kid and all of our trucks as well because we're, we're just surrounded by, y'all don't understand, hundreds of thousands, if not in total, a million plus acres around us are timberlands and hunting clubs. Like there's just really no developments here. and you, you ride through these on public roads, you get in some of these clubs, and everybody communicates via CB. So if you get stuck down there with no cell signal or something else, I want to be able to communicate to somebody. Maybe they can help Very me, true. or maybe we can go help yeah. them. Speaking of, we've done pulled out two people with our, with our new side-by-side. <laughs> yeah. side. We keep stumbling across people that are stuck. That, that's just crazy. But we're going to be in that situation one day, and I want to be able to reach out to people. And then I'm going to look into the longer-range radios. Um, Again, kind of getting hit by that hurricane last year and, and the whole area being down for a while. It's kind of got me thinking about other ways to communicate with people. Don't forget, we lost all our cell towers after that hurricane, too. That's kind of a, a, a scary thought, you know, whenever that happens. All right, what what you looking at? I was just looking to see to help you out. Uh, do I still recommend the Masterbuilt 800? Looks like Costco's having a sale on them again. Mm -hmm. Jump on it. I still 100% recommend it. I'll be honest with you. I have fell in love with our rocket stove uh, grill here lately. The food just tastes amazing coming off of it. But for long smokes, the rocket stove is not the way to go. Unless I'm going to sit out here and feed it fuel every few minutes and babysit it. Kind of like a traditional smoker. The master built is wonderful for like your eight hour Boston butt smoke. Yeah, we're not getting rid of that one. No, we're not because you can kind of set it, forget it, and go do your thing. I, I still 100% recommend it. Now, I did do the LSS mods package. Uh, they did sponsor me and reach out to me. So it's full disclosure there. And I love some of the mods. It really does make the grill a little more useful for me. You don't have to have the mods. It works okay without it, but some of the mods really do help. So just know that. But I, I still 100%. Uh, <laughs> recommend it any andrew cb handle any guesses oh boy <laughs> it's going to be pink flamingo yep that's that's what it's going to be off a movie or something no you don't remember the pink flamingo that oh I, yeah that they, mingo yeah mingo, mingo. it maybe should just be mingo mingo here <laughs> I, I would do rubber ducky but i think that handle was taken a long long time ago <laughs> all right so yeah yeah i'll take some suggestions y'all um i don't okay i can tell y'all are Y'all are diehard radio people here. Um, <laughs> I, see that. I don't need $500 CV radio suggestions. Oh, yeah. Like I need to keep it cheap just in case I get stuck mm -hmm. or we're, we're trying to communicate with locals through hurricanes and stuff like that. Like hundred something dollars where I'd like to stay. Adam has told me I probably should stay away from, I think, from the Cobra models. But what about the, uh, oh, there's Midland. Is Midland any good? I've been looking at some of those models right there. And I think I for sure want one with a scan button. Mr. Jimmy says Cobra 29, Andrew. He's got a Cobra. I know they're popular. <clears throat> Amazon's loaded with Cobra. Possum Reaper. I have a feeling this is going to be like that Possum Reaper. No, Dealer, Dealer Reaper. Dealer Reaper. Dealer Reaper here. Yeah, that's it. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I think the Cobra and Midland's going to be like the Ford versus Chevy debate, isn't it? Yeah, I can already see. We're probably going to start something here. <laughs> Big bear rug. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bear rug would be a pretty cool handle. Oh, no. Probably Diller Killer. Diller Killer. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know the proper etiquette nowadays for C. I think you can. There, I don't know. Heard something. Get your gun. I've uh, I've heard CBs pretty relaxed, but I know all the other ones have their, their specific types of rules and everything else. All right. We're going to grab a couple more questions. 
wrap this thing up. We normally go about an hour. We just got done with the food over there. I see Connor jumped on and says, just found y'all's page. My fiance and I are hooked with us being so young. We've gained so much knowledge from your videos. Excited to keep oh, watching, learning. Good. Awesome, Connor. We love That's hearing good. things like yes. that. So I hope people understand we're not trying to be know-it-alls here because I do like to teach and educate and share things. But often whenever I'm doing videos, like building the house, for example, that was a first for me. A lot of the stuff I do was a a first hard for people to believe hard i know <laughs> but, but yeah. what i try to do is i love researching and educating myself before regurgitating something on camera so i really try to do the homework doesn't mean i'm 100 right um and what i've always tried to tell people too the cool thing about putting these videos out there you're going to get feedback and comments from people good and bad oh my goodness but read the comments because oftentimes if i'm doing electrical a true electrician is going to come on there and be helpful and share some knowledge or a, a contractor is going to get on there um an engineer like we really get good positive feedback so always uh look in the comments as well don't just believe everything i say or listen to everything i say and i love that these videos are inspiring people and uh kind of educating i guess and i would just want them to be more motivational than anything uh you can do a lot of stuff if you'll get the negative junk out of your head where the world tells you oh you know you you got to have special tools or must be nice knowing how to do that Everybody comes out of the womb not knowing nothing. You, mm -hmm. It's just how eager are you to go learn? And that's what I want our content He's to be. He's on the soapbox. Now. I am on my soapbox. <laughs> See, there's there's my... Uh, that's, that's the new podcast. That's the kind of stuff I like. I really would like to discuss on a podcast. Like really talk to some people that need talking to, but in a good way and motivate. <laughs> like, because the world's so full of just depressing and bring you down junk and you mm -hmm. can't do that and let somebody else do it. No. I don't know. You do it and get some satisfaction in the day of, you know, a little bit of pride. I did that. And you're going to fail along the way. That's that's exactly yeah. the way it goes. So Scott says, I remember back in the 70s, we had to register with the FCC to use a CB. Uh oh, hmm. I thought I didn't know that you had to. My little designation. Yeah, I could just was, see people these days using them. Oh, my gosh. You <laughs> should hear what these these dog hunters and these hunters around here. Boy, I bet you get some good comedy <laughs> on them things, not to mention the truck drivers and everything else. Name. Dog and knocker. Dog and knock. That sounds like an old mill name. <laughs> yeah, but you've knocked your noggin a couple times. <laughs> yes, yes, I have. And I've got a pretty big one too. <laughs> All right. So, yep, there's another recommendation for a Cobra 29. Uh oh, Adam. Uh oh, Adam. I might I might have to go with Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> So Uniden did all the boards for Cobra till Cobra fell out with them. Oh boy. See, I started this Ford versus Chevy <laughs> debate. I knew that was going to happen. All right, y'all. Right, dinner's getting cold. Yes, it is. It's been sitting over <laughs> on the counter for a few minutes and we typically do an hour and we, which we just hit y'all appreciate y'all jumping on. I know we got the new time going here. We're going to do seven o'clock all the way till next fall, yep. every Sunday, 7 PM till we do fall back. And then we'll go back to five. That's just what we've done for forever. So if you're new jumping on seven, is going to be our new official time. Um, what about Easter? Are we still doing? That's up to you. I, I think we are, but I yeah. couldn't remember. I know we have family things and all going we on. Do. Okay, we'll yeah. keep y'all updated with with Easter and other stuff coming up. I, I was saying all that uh, that we still have plans to do every Sunday, but occasionally we'll miss some for get-togethers or holidays and things like that. So thank y'all so much, y'all. Y'all been so unbelievably generous tonight, um, crazy generous tonight. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for spending your Sunday afternoon with us. Thank you for watching the content. We've got a smorgasbord of content coming this week, um, kind of our normal everyday stuff. And then next week we jump back in the massive project over here, which we're so excited to share with y'all. So thanks for watching. Catch you next Sunday. Y'all take care. Good night. God bless y'all.